Welcome back to another episode of Where's Michael? Uh huh. Look at that. that. That's a nice touch. I like that. It's an unpack reboot. Uh huh. Kind of overshadows everything else like it should. back he's back i'm back and we're gonna bring something else back that we've had on the channel before yeah we got to get our value out of the shipping we paid <laughs> but you can't guess what it is I'll tell you what it's not it's not a mystery box deal yeah that had, <laughs> that had free shipping for some reason yeah it is analog pocket and why are we bringing this thing back that's a great question because the, we like it so much. The adapter sets finally oh, came in. There's more. So Behold. The accessory box. The very basic marked hey, it's, accessory box. It's we, very clean. We like the package. I didn't say I didn't like it. I was describing it in case Man. they thought there was all kinds of stuff on here. Oh. The... Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So for those keeping track, we have a Game Gear adapter that was previously sold by itself. And this set has a... Here's the Game Gear adapter. We have already installed a cartridge to save time. Yeah, we have a Neo Geo Pocket color adapter in here would be there's a one of these links atari links adapter there's links and it's hard to read it a Neo turbo Geo. graphics 16 oh, adapter turbo graphics for those of you who don't remember these, these one cool little yeah these cards i have personally never really used one of these before so i was pretty pumped to try to get the Grab a couple of these carts off eBay. Yeah, I probably won't get those in the same slots. I'll go ahead and do away with this tool. Oops. Some silica gel. Yeah, don't eat that. Don't eat it ever. <laughs> and then we got it. Was that a trap it's door a, for the silica gel? It's got a sticker gel? in there. It's got a sticker so you can support analog. Can I have it? Sure. I got another one at the other <laughs> adapter set. <laughs> All right. And the other kind of cool thing that I found out when scouring eBay for some random games atari Lynx games are pretty readily available still sealed that's brand so new to me <laughs> so <laughs> here's your what 30 something year old yeah it, was, it may be more i don't know I've i got date. three brand new atari Lynx games and one still in box so is that my cue go ahead you okay. can show people i want to show people the lovely packaging of atari Lynx because I personally uh, never remember seeing these so, in person. Now, I will say, just not that it's about these games, but I did play Stun Runner a lot uh, at the arcade uh, when my parents went bowling. There was a Stun Runner arcade I loved to play. And supposedly this is one of the best ports of the arcade. Nice. I will be playing that. Some Rampart. For those that haven't played Rampart, excellent game. Uh -huh. And then we got... The one with probably the coolest art, the Zybots. Which was a, it's a, it's like a sort of a first person shooter. Like maybe if you mix a first person shooter with Contra. Yeah, I've never played it. It looks, looks kind of doomish a little bit, but. But yeah, you actually get to see your guy. So it's like an over the shoulder, weird kind of like, thing. Kind of like that Contra level where you're in the hallway. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. So that's why I grabbed that one. And part of the other reason I grabbed some of the specific games that I did was because as of right now, the cores don't all have save states. So some of the games I picked, I wanted ones that have, that there's a reason to save them. And it's not just playing an emulator that you don't need to save your game. Except for Stun Runner, because that was apparently a solid game. And it was not on the Atari Lynx Evercade collection either. So, blasphemy. Yeah. So, here's what we got. I'm going to be a stun runner. 
which one do we go for first? We got, we got, let's go with the, you know, do the Game Gear. Yeah, go with Game Gear. Since, and so, like he said, Game Gear was separate than this pack. Yep, so you get to pay shipping <laughs> for a Game Gear by itself. Here we go again. So it's really easy. I mean, you just insert the adapter. I mean, I guess all these, none of them will ever be able to use triggers. <laughs> uh, actually, that's kind of a strange design. And then you just choose cartridge and it pulls in the it pulls in the system, the publishers, the region that the game is, and <laughs> it just goes. And the cool thing is, is you actually still have all of your fun little different screen filters. Of course the analog one still to me looks looks the best yeah and now that's really cool to see especially game gear because uh game gear was such a dark system yeah. that you didn't really a lot of times get to appreciate the the graphics and stuff on it and just seeing this like it, it does make it feel like it's pumped new life into the games yeah and that's the you know having an actual backlit yeah you know full full new new age backlit screen i should say no, that uh, these adapters, um, like I said, that that's I don't want to say a game changer because it kind of it kind of is because you put a different game in each one. You know. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> see you again another day. We'll see you, we'll see you later on Dad Jokes One Hundred and One. So, Game Gear adapter, very impressive. Now. You know what? I'm going to save... Did I have a number one on it? It did. It does. So there you got one, two, three, four, because yeah. you're going to you're gonna memorize In those Boston numbers. Day. Yeah. I'm going to save number two for Maybe later. And stuff. Okay. Because that's going to have a little more conversation to it. All right. We need more conversation. All right. Let's go with Atari Lynx. He doesn't talk enough. You know. It's because we have a YouTube channel to not talk and just stare at you. <laughs> we... A silent YouTube channel. You're welcome. Somebody's right. going to try it. Here, I'll let you do the honors of breaking oh. open a 30-year-old sealed game. That 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 hurts, man. I don't. Oh, I told you how I felt about it. I know. This. That's why I like free like, to open it. I don't want... Oh, you didn't even give me a knife or anything. No, you just got to rip into Because keep in mind, this is 30-year-old petrified plastic it, on here. It should just fall off. It should, but I don't... You had some good plastic in the 80s. <laughs> the good stuff that doesn't biodegrade or Good thing. Lord. That, no wonder why these games are still... Yeah, well, falling. you know air didn't get in there. That's, <laughs> goodness, I, I yeah, you're going to have to give me a tool. Oh, man. All right. Let's go get you a tool. We'll time lapse this part. Yeah, this does. This this pains me. Uh, I know we're just taking one sealed copy off this earth. Yep. Forget you, collector. You might have, get, you might have taken it too early. I'm afraid. You can't get these. Did you get it? Almost. I don't have fingernails. There we go. All right. Oh, man. Look at I that. I think that's probably the oldest game I've ever... The oldest new game I've ever Man. opened. Watch it not be in here. <laughs> <laughs> Someone somehow resealed all there this. There it is. There's a game in there. Look at that. Woo! Party Brand people. new. And then you just put Brand your finger all over the contacts. Ah, right away. Crap. <laughs> Man. Actually kind of still has a smell to Man. it. It's weird. But... All right. So, have a book. so here's the fun part. Oh. <gasps> Oh, it's got a poster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this just became a stun runner review. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is awesome. It's not even unfolding correctly. Okay, you're going to tear up the perfectly good. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That so is nice. amazing. And the reason why it's, you can probably see through there is a... 
the manual, oh, the, the, guide. Yeah, the manual, how to play, getting started, um, some tips, scoring is all on this side. All right, so I got to see what the. That is so awesome. So we got all the same, the same filters going on. Man, man, the original looked rough. Look at that. Those colors. But then look at that. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember. The, you try to stay on the stars, don't you? Yeah, it's, I think it's kind of like the four oh, yeah, there before there was the four, the, you know, the turn, take the turns and stuff. Man, that runs nice. That looks good. I'm done. I just ran out of <laughs> gas though already. <laughs> I didn't do so well. Or did I? You did amazing. Look at that. Touch boost pads for hyper speed. A button for lasers. Mm -hmm. I don't know what button's A, but cool. Oh, I don't have lasers before. Oh, there we go. Okay, I thought I wrecked already. Oh, I remember this this mm -hmm. part where you get the outline ship. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Man. Oh, that is nice. This is solid. Evercade, please uh, get that game ported over. Sad part is, is they lost all their Atari licenses, all the Atari games cartridges that are now Legacy on Evercade. So good. Why is he out? Got to bring negativity to our happy channel. So happy. Don't stare at him anymore. You already <laughs> did that. <laughs> That was our that's channel just, again. That's just mean. So, I mean, that's impressive. It is. It really I mean, is. Because I've played Lynx games on emulators before, like on a little bit of a larger screen, and they do not, they do not blow up well. Yeah. They, they are pretty rough. Man. So. I'm just impressed by this poster. That was amazing. I mean, that looks, I mean, that looks really nice, too. It just. Does. Just how that I forgot they had these cartridges had that little lip on them. Yeah, I don't even remember what that was for. Do you stack the games up to where it all so you just grip it when you rip it out? You just, just I don't think it was for stacking, fling it. it wasn't a Lego game. I mean, you know, I think it's, it's just for gripping it out. Right. Your Nintendo cartridge, your hand would slip off. <laughs> <laughs> that was not in the front loading, <laughs> the one that came out later. All right, so now. We got our Turbo Graphic 16, and see, did you see your hand? Your hand slipped off of it because you couldn't grip the end of it. This game, I never heard of before until I started digging into available games. Bloody Wolf. Bloody Wolf. I've heard of. I never played it. So the other the other issue is is I don't remember which way around these games go into these things. We'll find out pretty quick. So this game is like. You card. It's like if anybody basically made Rambo. It's pretty solid. I played this the other day for the first time. And apparently the only time. Because well, you stared people down. It's not doing anything. Did you put it in backwards? Let's see. Did you break it the other day? Apparently I broke it. Mm -hmm. Gotta go old school. Showing the details, we're good. There we go. There, look at that. So once again, so the interesting thing about this, it's got the graphic styles are all the different. You got PC Engine, Turbo Express, and a CRT, the old Trinitron yeah. everybody loves. No, or the analog. Yes, we want. We're gonna go fancy. We want fancy. Let's see, our name is Eagle. Hey, turns into Eagle. Yeah, yeah. skip a little bit, but look at this. I mean, yeah. See, that's no. Uh uh. Uh uh. See, I mean, that's just yeah. That's nice. Let's get an explosion going. It's like commando from the side. Look at this the game though. A little little blood splat. Like you can go in rooms and stuff. You get the guys just standing there in an empty room waiting. That's what they do. Yeah, I mean, you know, this, like I said, this, I mean, that's what they do in Rambo. They just stand there to get shot. Well, yeah. <laughs> but now, I mean, this game is, 
surprisingly good. Got a shotgun. Stand on barbed wire because I can. You can jump over trucks you know, on them. Yeah. I thought you went over it. I mean, rescue civilians, I didn't. Nah. But, you know. Forget them. You get weapons, all sorts of stuff. Shoot people and take names. Not rescue anyone. No. That's soft. That's a game bloody wolf. True. Not save your friend. So, there's your little hue cards, which I've never had many of, any of. I think I played a TurboGrafx-16 once. And now... All right, number two. We came back to two. Number two. Just the Neo you. Geo Pocket Color Adapter. One of my favorite handhelds. That's one thing. These are pretty... They are pretty. Stiff. Yeah, pretty. They're very stiff adapters. They're So, this is a game I actually recently added to my Neo Geo collection. Crush Roller, which for those that haven't played it, it's kind of like Pac-Man, except you paint the level. I think I've played that before. So, I mean, same thing. Like the original Neo Geo colors on here and it also goes back to the original neo geo pocket not the yeah, color version yeah. but i mean look at that yeah so why not pump new life into them you know yeah i mean here's the thing i haven't noticed any gameplay issues i've seen a couple people with reports of some bugs on a couple games i haven't noticed anything i haven't spent a ton of time with some of the games though and the Neo Geo Pocket. So the one thing that I'm excited about for this is I can finally play Turf Golf. Neo Geo Pocket games on the TV. Yes. But here's the issue. Uh-oh. As a Neo Geo Pocket for a handheld, we do not have a clicky analog. Mm. Playing Neo Geo Pocket without a quickie, clicky analog. <laughs> quickie, clicky, quickie. Translucent. Analog stick is garbage. Now, if you've never got the pleasure of playing with the original Neo Geo Pocket, lots of awesome games. I, say, I, I agree. I agree with that. I don't know if it's, I'd say, you know, jump to the garbage thing. But, I would. But, uh, you play you any know, of the, the, the games are still really good. Like, it, it, like he said, if you've played it with the it, the very clicky analog, I'm talking like that thing just just constantly. Um, that but, was a sound effect that it did. But uh, but a lot of the games though were fighting games, and that D pad versus the clicky analog on a fighting game true. is true. not up to the level. And some of the that. fighting games were awesome. Yeah. The Marvel, the Match of Millennium, Capcom vs. SNK was good. They had all sorts. See, of you know my favorite one, Card Fighters. Card Fighters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I didn't. So, however, that being said, I'm excited to play it hooked up to a TV with the upgraded graphics, and then use the little eight bit do Neo Geo controllers, because then I get my clicky analog. It's not quite as nice. But I still get a clicky analog. Overall, though, these adapters are awesome. They all work as advertised. You get to play the original games, original carts. Yes, you can play the emulated versions, but as of right now, a lot of those cores aren't available. I think Neo Geo's in beta. But... I mean, why would you not want to pop in one of these things, you know? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like... How often you get, I mean, you don't have form factors like this anymore. No. People are starting to miss that stuff, too. That's a different video for a different day. And, and I'll always stand by, like, yeah, you can load thousands of games on these. But then I end up not really focusing on a game. Yeah. I feel like if I take the effort to drop in a cartridge, then I'll sit there and play it for a little longer. Give some more play time. I guess the other important part, the set of three adapters was $99.99. Plus shipping. Shipping. Another $121, I believe. <laughs> and from some of the people I've seen in the UK, 
it's fifty dollars. <laughs> I think that includes some for duty. for a box this size that weighs almost nothing. I, what is so going you, on over you there? You pay fifty percent of the cost just to get those shipped to you. And then the Game Gear one's even separate than that. And yeah, and the Game Gear adapter's cheap, but then the shipping costs about as much as the adapter. Analog, please get that together. Please. However, I mean, these are some of the coolest adapters I think I've probably seen. They are. Style-wise, super nice, clean, so well, well-built adapters. What's on the horizon for adapters? Is there any? They haven't announced anything yet. So, they might be done with the adapters on this thing. You don't think they'll hook a PlayStation one up? <laughs> spin a spin <laughs> disc on top? I'm trying, I mean, I can't think of many handhelds that they're probably missing at this point. I was pleasantly surprised they put a Turbo Graphics part in there. But they did have the handheld Turbo Graphics unit. Wonder Swan? That could be good. I had to throw one out there. They work out as, as advertised. I mean, you know what you're buying. Mm -hmm. You know what you're going to get. I don't see any cons. Did you have any? Nope. No. Nothing. I haven't noticed anything. No issues. Yeah. I mean, you plug them in, they worked. Yeah. They had a firmware update. Which is a nice touch. And then that's a possibility. And then it was, then they all worked. Yeah. They showed up and so I. They can still do things the with them if, if necessary. You get to open sealed games that aren't crazy expensive. I think this guy, I think this guy was like 15 bucks. Hurts your soul a little bit when you do it. Final verdict. Unpack, obviously, we, you know, if, if you didn't get that by now. Uh, it's a good thing. It just opens up more things to do on that system that's already pretty versatile. I agree. Unpack. Mm -hmm. And there's the other good thing to check out is there's some companies that are still making Lynx games. Sealed? Well, they're brand new. <laughs> Maybe they That'd don't be seal. funny if they, they did. Just, no, they just send you a card, cartridge. <laughs> a cartridge. Only. But they don't have a poster. Probably not. We man. appreciate it. Like, subscribe. Stare at your friend. <laughs>